In this video, we're going in depth on the Ergo 8 setup process and smartphone app. I'm going to take you into all the tips and tricks on how to get the most out of your Ergo 8 hearing aids and how to control them using the smartphone app. If we haven't yet met, my name is Blake Cadwell. I'm the co-founder at soundlay.com, or one of the leading research and shopping destinations for hearing aids in the United States. If you like what you see in this video, feel free to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It helps us reach more people. With that, let's dig in. Ergo 8 is currently one of our favorite in-ear, invisible style products at Soundly.com. We've put these in the hands of a lot of customers over the last year, and through that process, we've learned a lot about the common questions that folks ask about the Ergo setup, the Ergo app, how to control the sound, how to make things more comfortable. In this video, we're going to dig into all of that. I'm going to take you in-depth into the app, show you all the little corners that you need to know about, and by the end of the video, hopefully you'll be equipped to either set up your hearing aids or get the most out of them if you already have them. Now, if you're planning to follow along at home, before we get started, make sure you've charged up your devices. I charge these overnight, so I'm gonna put them in my ears and we're going to begin. Okay, let's dig into the Ergo app. I've downloaded the Ergo 8 version of the app. There is an old version for other Ergo devices, but this is the Ergo 8 device. And I'll walk you through what the setup looks like in just a moment, but First, let me just familiarize you with what the app has available. And this is once you're already set up. So there are three main tabs here. The first one is volume, where if you just hit the plus sign, it's going to increase the volume, hit the minus sign, it will of course decrease the volume. Now it's worth noting that these devices are not controlled through Bluetooth. So they're actually using a quiet sort of high frequency signal that is going up to the devices and telling them what to do. So because of that, you'll want to make sure your volume is at least at 60% so that your hearing aids can hear your phone actually making noise. So when I click plus, I hear a little buzzing sound from the phone and then my devices beep. So interestingly with the volume, you can only change it by about five clicks down and five clicks up, and then you'll hear min, and max, and that's how much you can adjust your volume in this main setting. The next area or major tab in the app is the program section, and there's a lot to do inside of the program section. You, of course, can access your main programs, but you can also edit those programs a whole lot. So simply, you tap on restaurant. In my ears, I'm hearing the word restaurant. If I tap on meeting, I'm hearing the word meeting, normal. I'm hearing the word normal. Now, if I tap on the settings underneath each one of these, I have a lot of options to actually change what that program does and how it sounds. So the first thing I can do is go into Smart Adjust. And what Smart Adjust allows me to do is simply by tapping on these selections, I can move it into Auto. I can move it into a Clarity Mode, which will give me more crispness, S's and T's, higher frequencies or I can move it into a maximum comfort mode, which is going to minimize background noise and minimize sudden sounds. So I'll leave it in comfort for now, as that's what I've been enjoying as I've been wearing this product. But you can do that with any one of these settings. You can also go in and make even more adjustments through the sound tuning section. And essentially what this lets you do is adjust the volume for that particular program. So you can make it louder or quieter. And then you can also edit the treble and bass sounds. So if you want more treble or more crispness, tap plus. You can do that a few times until it says max. As I'm doing that, I can actually hear the hearing aids changing their sound profile. So I'll put this back to its standard, and then the same with bass. So you can make all of these changes within an individual program. And that means when you come back to the normal program, it will sound the way that you've set it up. In practice, you could set each one of these programs to some of the most common circumstances that you find yourself in and toggle into those programs when you want to make a change. Now with that out of the way, let's dig into the setup for these devices. Now these devices are set up through sound match. You can see I've already gone through this process, but I'm gonna take you through it again so you can see how this will work when you first set up your hearing aids. So as you can see, it'll take you through a few different steps. You'll need to increase your volume. You'll place the devices in your ear, and then you'll begin following the prompts as they're presented to you. So now I'm hearing the word mute. I'm confirming that and we'll start the sound match. So what I'm doing as I create my sound profile is I'm hearing a series of beeps. Right now I'm focused on the left ear 
And I simply answer, did I hear it or not? And I can click replay as well. In that case, I did hear it. Once you've gone through the sound match profile, your hearing aids will be programmed to match your particular hearing loss. And then you'll find yourself back here in the main settings of the app, which we just explored. A few other things to know about the Eargo app. If you tap on this circle icon up on the right hand side, it'll tell you the volume that your phone is at at any time, which can be helpful if you're not getting a response when you click on things via your phone. Because remember, the volume needs to be at least at 60%. It's also worth noting that you can do a program sync. So when you sync your hearing aids, that's essentially going to take them back to the programs that they were at a few minutes ago. So if you make a change you don't like, go ahead and hit program sync, and that's going to revert your hearing aids back to where they just were. And that's it. That'll give you a sense for how the Eargo app gets set up and connected to your hearing aids and how you can use it once you actually have your hearing aids in. All right, so there you have it. That is the Eargo 8 setup process using the Eargo 8 smartphone app. I hope you found this interesting and informative. If you still have questions and you're in research mode, feel free to head over to soundly.com and talk to our team. We're happy to answer your questions. If you're a current customer and you need support from our team or you wanna set up a call with our audiologist, feel free to get in touch at customercare at soundly.com or via our main phone number. Thanks for your time. We'll see you over there.